Hello, my name is Adam and I am pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit is an AWS consulting partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at AWS Shield. AWS Shield is a service from Amazon Web Services for DDoS protection on layer 3 and 4. But it's enough for now, let's take a look on what you will learn today. First, we will look at what AWS Shield is and what it protects against. And then on the benefits and what is the difference between WAF and Shield. I will introduce Tormit CDN security solution with special pricing. Then we will look into AWS Management Console for a little demo. And then you can decide which is better for you. Is it AWS Shield Standard or Advanced? In the last section of this presentation, you will learn more about Shield pricing. What is AWS Shield? AWS Shield is a managed service, so you don't have to be concerned about some difficult settings. It protects against all known infrastructure attacks on layer 3 and 4 of OSI model. AWS Shield is available at two different tiers. First is Shield Standard and the second is Advanced. And what it protects against in more detail? It protects against state exhaustion attacks on layer 4 of the OSI model, otherwise known as SYNFLOOD. This type of attack tries to consume the TCP connection state tables. The attacker basically quickly initiates a connection to a server without finalizing the connection. And then it protects against volumetric attacks on layer 3 of OSI model. This type of attack occurs when a network is overwhelmed by a large amount of malicious traffic. Should advance also protect against attacks on layer 7 of the OSI model, but more about that later. Let's make a comparison of Shield Standard and Advanced. Shield Standard includes always on detection and automatic mitigation of DDoS attacks on layers 3 and 4. And Shield Advanced, as you can see, includes some additional functions that should help you not only to protect against these DDoS attacks, but also monitor them. And it also includes AWS WAF and AWS Firewall Manager at no additional cost. AWS Shield Standard is a free service and it offers DDoS protection against some of the more common network and transport layer DDoS attacks. You can basically set up Shield Standard yourself. This protection is applied automatically to your Elastic Load Balancers, Amazon CloudFront CDN distributions and Amazon Route 53 DNS. So if you already use any of these services, you leverage the protection provided by Shield Standard. And Shield Advanced is a paid service that provides additional DDoS mitigation capability, intelligent attack detection and mitigation against attacks at the application and network layers. For application layer protection, it leverages AWS WAF. So, now you should know what AWS Shield is. Let's look at the difference between Shield and AWS WAF. The main difference is that WAF provides protection on the application layer and AWS Shield protects the infrastructure layers of the OSI model. Shield protects against state exhaustion attacks and volumetric attacks. AWS WAF protects against HTTP floods, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and more. AWS WAF is included in AWS Shield Advanced subscription at no additional cost. Like most AWS services, Shield is easy to use and designed to allow you to protect your applications quickly and easily. AWS Shield can be used for existing applications or new applications using the AWS Management Console. No routing changes are required. It is cost efficient and you get Shield Standard at no additional cost. 
and with Shield Advance, customers get AWS WAF and AWS Firewall Manager for free. Shield Standard automatically inspects incoming traffic to your network and applies a combination of traffic signatures, anomaly algorithms to detect malicious traffic, and over 99% of infrastructure layer attacks detected by AWS Shield are automatically mitigated in less than one second. And for Shield Advanced, the benefits are you get access to real-time metrics and reports where you can always find information about the current status of your DDoS protection and you can also leverage AWS CloudWatch metrics and attack diagnostics. Shield Advanced also includes the help with against bill spikes after a DDoS attack that can be created by scaling your infrastructure in reaction to this attack. Shield Advanced also includes AWS WAF that mitigates complex application layer attacks by setting up rules. And you get 24-7 access to DDoS response team for help and custom mitigation techniques during attacks. Together with Amazon CloudFront CDN, AWS WAF and Amazon Route 53 DNS, AWS Shield is a part of the AWS Edge Services ecosystem. AWS Edge Services create an application boundary and reduce the total cost of data transfers. And here is a StormIT CDN security solution with AWS Shield standard and other services. This is only a simplified reference architecture that we can provide to anyone who is already using AWS Cloud, starting with it, or as you can see, to businesses with infrastructure outside of AWS Cloud. We provide special pricing for organizations transferring as little as one terabyte of data per month. And you can visit our website for more information Links are in the description below. And now for the demo in AWS Management Console. So let's look into the AWS Management Console and how we can find Shield here and also subscribe to Shield Advanced. It's actually very easy. The first thing we need to do is just go to Shield and you will find Shield here under WAF and shield. Go in and click on that. At first it will give you an overview of different features of AWS WAF. If you click over here on AWS Shield, you can go and have a look into getting started. And it will show you global activity that has been detected by Shield Standard and Advanced over the last couple of weeks, as you can see here. If we scroll down, it will give you the comparison between Shield Standard and Shield Advanced. For Shield Standard, the only part which is important here is Global dash Dashboard. Nothing else is relevant and unlocked for you. Now, to turn on Shield Advanced, you just need to go back and you click on subscribe to Shield Advanced. And as you can see, you have to agree to four things. So we will go on and do that. And right now we just have to click on subscribe to Shield Advanced. And then it will be set up for you. This is everything for now and let's go back to our presentation. So, do you need AWS Shield Standard or Advanced? In many cases, AWS Shield Standard protection is sufficient to meet the needs of SMB businesses. But as a strategy to complement this built-in protection, the StormIT team recommends using a combination of AWS Shield Standard with other AWS services, such as AWS WAF, Amazon CloudFront CDN, and Route 53. 
This can often provide adequate attack protection and mitigation. But if your business is a likely target of large DDoS attacks and you need specific control over the wall process, AWS Shield Advance might be the best choice. AWS Shield Advance not only provides layer 3 and layer 4 protection and mitigation, but also includes AWS WAF at no extra charge and DRT assistance for you. And the last section of this video is about AWS Shield pricing. So for the Shield standard, this service is built into other AWS services and there are no additional costs. AWS Shield Advance is a paid service that provides additional protections for internet facing applications. You have to commit for one year and pay a monthly fee plus data transfer usage fees. And here we have a simple pricing example of AWS Shield which is set up to protect the Amazon CloudFront CDN distribution. If you enable Shield Advanced Protection for your CloudFront distribution and you block any other possibility of connection to your resources behind it, you don't need to protect any other services with Shield Advanced. At the end of the month, you will pay the AWS Shield Advanced monthly fee of $3,000 in addition to the monthly fee, you will be charged for data transfer usage fees. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel. Or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.